Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate an OpenAI API key. API. It stands for Application Programming Interface. The Explain It Like I'm 5 version of APIs. There are two components, the API and the API keys. The API is like a magic toy box and the API keys is just a special password that you give to the magic box to let it know that you have permission to ask for toys. And you never want to expose your API keys to others. You want to keep them private and secure. So if you are learning how to code, you don't include your API key in the code that people could access on GitHub. And if you're a tutorial maker where well, you don't show your API key on the screen, if somebody were to get access to your API key, they could put it in their own applications and they could run up a bunch of charges that you would be responsible for. If your API key is ever exposed or compromised, the good news is though, you can always generate new API keys at any time. To generate an OpenAI API key, open a web browser, go to openai.com. I go to the top right corner, just hover my cursor over the login button and select API platform. Now just sign in to your OpenAI or your ChatGPT account. And if you don't already have an account, just click sign up to create a free account. I go to the top right corner and click on dashboard. Then in the left sidebar, click on API keys. Now all you have to do is simply click create a new secret key. Keep it on you, give it a name. Mike. Test API, default project, all, create secret key. Once you generate a new API key, this is gonna be the last time where you can actually view the entire API key. So at this step, you need to copy your new API key to your clipboard. So just click the button to copy it. And then you're gonna save your secret key somewhere in a safe place off of the OpenAI platform. Now, a lot of the platforms where you might be using your API keys, so if you're using N8N for automations or Zapier, those platforms make it really easy for you to store your API credentials in a safe environment. You can also store your API credentials in a password manager. Now, I use 1Password, so I can click on the new item just like I would add a login, and they have an API credentials category. So now I can just store API keys here and it's super handy and secure. And just to confirm, if you do save your API credentials in a password manager like 1Password, you can copy and paste your API key at any time. And you can also view your entire API key at any time in the password manager. Whereas when you go into 1Password, you're going to see your API key. You're gonna see part of it, but you're unable to copy it or do anything at this point. The only thing you can do in OpenAI dashboard when you're managing your API keys is you can click the pencil and change the name of it, or you can click the trash can and delete or revoke the key, which is what I'm gonna do right now because I exposed my API key, which you never wanna do. And for best practices, you will find a best practice documentation definitely worth a read. You are charged by how much you use and depending on the model that you choose, there's gonna be different pricing and you can find all of that in the OpenAI documents. But to avoid any surprise charges, you can actually set limits or set a budget. If you come over here to the sidebar, click on limits. Now you can tell OpenAI, you know, I don't wanna spend more than $20 or whatever it is that is in your budget that you wanna spend, you can set that budget and you can even add an alert so as it's approaching the budget, it's going to tell you. That way you can have a control over how much you spend. You can see how much you're spending or using at any time. If you just go to the uses tab, you'll see your total spend at the top and you'll go to billing to add to your credit balance. Just click on add to credit balance. And you'll see right here, there's model pricing. If you click on that, that is gonna show you the cost per model. Even $5 is gonna get you a lot of usage. Just click continue. Confirm the payment, I refresh, and now you're ready to start using your OpenAI API key. And my name is Mike Murphy, cheers.